Well, hi there. We're here at uh, Ronnie's place again. Roland of Bremen. Bremen's finest tobacco shop. So, um, the exhibition in Dortmund, uh, that's called Into Tabak, is over now and all the good things arrived. So, the Into Tabak in Dortmund is the world's biggest exhibition about tobaccos. So, it's mainly about cigars, pipes, uh, pipe tobaccos, and so on. And all the good things arrive. So some you can may see behind me in the background. So, um, but I want to talk today about uh, one special tobacco uh, that's new on the market. So, but before that, I show you uh, my pipe. So, this is my country gentleman, and this was really a kind gift of found one so found one thanks for that so and as you all know it comes with a different stem but uh, well this stem and the metal piece here uh, yeah that was done by a German stem maker near Hamburg so look at that so I like that so found one Thanks again. Smokes very well. Mm. So now we can just go over where I have the tobacco I want to talk about. So let's take a seat. Yeah, it is this tobacco. So it is uh, done by W. O. Larson, uh, and it's called. Craftsman's Edition, and they say it's uh, 151 years of excellence. So let's see what they say about the tobacco. Uh, I'm gonna translate that. It's in German. Uh, so it's a mixture uh, of Virginia, Black Cavendish, and Burley, and it's also given some aroma of vanilla and caramel. And uh, that's a really a brilliant aroma, and so on and so on. Uh, yeah. And some of the parts of the tobacco are pressed and then ready rubbed. And it is like that. I show you the tobacco. I have a sample jar here. And I hope you can see that. Camera gets this done. So. There are not a lot of flake parts, but some flake parts you can find in the tobacco. So, and these flake parts really provide a good smoke. So, it burns very easily. Uh, it's easy packed in the pipe and burns pretty well. Uh, when it comes to the to the tin aroma, so. You, you mainly will smell uh, the caramel notes. So for me the caramel notes are in front. A little bit of vanilla but the vanilla is not in front. Just slightly notes of vanilla for me. So when you light it up mm, and you go with some heat on the tobacco um, the aroma can stand the heat well that's a good thing I think but the tobacco is not only soft and mellow it has it has a strength you can say that so if you go with a bit heat you feel the, the strength of the tobacco it is not really sharp or bitey, it's not like that, but you feel that there's some nicotine and uh, a good strength of the tobacco. So it is an aromatic, it is even a heavy aromatic, but it's not so sticky. So it's not a slightly aromatic, it is a heavy aromatic, but the aroma doesn't jump in your face the moment you open the tin. So that's a good thing, I think. So the aroma can stand um, up to the last third of the bowl, 
that's also a good thing. Mm. And when you smoke it, I think caramel is in front, but you also can smell the vanilla notes and even some tobacco notes. Well, that's a good thing if, since it is tobacco. Mm. Yeah. What's left? The price. The price here in Germany is, oh my, it is 30 euros per 100 gram. 30 euro, euros per 100 gram. So, it is a good tobacco, I think. If it's that good, well, that's a decision you have to make on your own. Yeah, well, this is it, I think, for the moment. Uh, in the last uh, next uh, weeks, I'm gonna do some more reviews, I think, about the really nice tobaccos um, that were presented on the Intertabac uh, 2015 in Dortmund. And yeah, take care, be well, and perhaps see you again.